Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I am here with a review of Gimmick Special Edition on Xbox. Now this was released onto the Xbox Store on the 6th of July 2023, developed by City Connection and published by Bitwave and I was lucky enough to be sent a copy to do this video review so big thank you to them for that. Now Gimmick was originally a Sunsoft published NES platforming game and it's one of those games that never got like a big release worldwide it came out in Japan and then for some reason it came out in Scandinavia and pretty much nowhere else and it's obviously now been re-released on basically all modern consoles and PC now this game obviously does feature a whole host of improvements and bonus features, but for those who haven't played Gimmick, and I've never played this because obviously it was um, a rarity uh, over in uh, the UK, the, the story is basically uh, you play as this little uh, yokai called Yumitaro, and basically he's gifted to this uh, girl for her birthday by accident, and she basically um, gets like sucked into another dimension and it's up to him like this little green blob guy who you play as to save her now this is a sort of physics based platformer in it you basically spawn these stars out the top of your head and you use them to help you obviously defeat enemies like ride them and enable you to get to new areas and stuff like that to different platforms and stuff by jumping on them it isn't an easy game. In fact, it is one of the hardest sort of retro games I've played in quite a while. To the point that it's frustratingly difficult. Now, I'm always happy when retro games get remastered, re-released, uh, brought out for modern consoles. Because I like to have everything in one place. Now, it's great to have the original um, software. But like I said, this is a game that never came out, never got like an English port. And... I dread to think what it costs to buy like the original car and then have to play it on a SNES and I don't want to play it on a SNES I want to play it in HD so I'm super happy this has come out and I've been able to play a game that I've never played before and other people who may have never played it will get the chance to now the game features six different levels to work your way through and each level features its own boss at the end of it now if you beat the last boss spoiler that's not the end of the game it's not the true story you then have to sort of replay the game and find the secret areas on each level which then unlock a another sort of secret stage with another secret boss once you defeat that boss you finally get the proper ending so good luck to everyone out there trying to get this perfect ending it does gives you some trouble especially like I say it, it's not the easiest of the sort of retro platformers now this version does feature a whole host of improvements so you've got the nice sort of HD resolutions you've got the nice borders and stuff like that you've got a rewind feature which is always handy you've got achievements you've got online leaderboards you've got save and quick load you've got a gallery which has like cartridges art and scan manuals which i always like it's a nice little bit of history that you can check through i mean you're not going to sit and read all of them all the time but it's nice to have a little browse on it when you for the first time now there's also a sort of like speed runner time attack mode as well which i thought was nice it's not for me because honestly i sucked at this game it took me a while to just get anywhere in it trying to get used to how to use the um the stars and like get used to like bouncing them off things and jumping on them to get to certain places took me a fair bit of attempts and tries and I, I hold my hands up and say I wasn't that great at it but I did enjoy my time playing it is it a perfect port probably not but I've never played the original game I've seen some people complain online that it it could have improvements but I really enjoyed it it looked great it played great it's a very colorful bright platformer I love the additions they added to it. Obviously, you've got the standard, like, normal mode. Then you've got that speedrunner mode, which is a really cool addition that more sort of retro games should include, I think, like re-releases. And it's all in a very nice package. 
Now, it's playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S consoles, obviously available on other consoles and PC as well, but on Xbox it's priced at £12.99. So, honestly, if you're a retro fan and you want to play a retro game you've probably never played unless you've imported it or used a ROM, this is one of those weird sort of Sunsoft gems that it's at least worth playing through at least a couple of times. But anyway guys, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of this game, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.